Okay, so I've been kind of doing this tropical mixology thing, and I don't know how I got started in that. Beforehand, I just wanted to make something like a real old-fashioned, so you can blame Mad Men for my corruption, but it probably goes back years earlier than that. Anyway, I got into tropical drinks, which is kind of like this weird subset where all the alcohol that would normally be in a bar is replaced by varieties of rum. They use other stuff, but there's drinks for vodka, there's not a lot of vodka drinks, more like gin, some bourbon drinks, that kind of thing. But most of it's rum. And two of the most, I would say, emblematic ones I've seen, the zombie and the Mai Tai, spoken of by name, known of by name, are sort of hard to make in the old-fashioned way. The zombie requires this stuff called Lemon Heart 151. It's 151 proof rum. And they won't import it into Arizona. I've harassed them on their Facebook page and gently. And they said, sorry, no plans to distribute, so I'd have to get it by mail order, and then the shipping cost gets a lot. The Mai Tai, though, took one kind of rum, which was 17 years old. Mai Tai means the best, and they made it to showcase this 17-year-old rum. The drink was so popular that they don't have that 17-year-old rum anymore. So now you get that rum by combining two rums. Usually, apparently, it's an amber Martinique rum and a dark Jamaican rum, which is all that's specified in Jeff Beachbum Berry's book. Now on his website, he goes into brands. The, apparently, the, the good amber Martinique rum to get is Clément VSOP. I have never seen this rum. I'd probably have to get it online. The other one, he says, is St. James, and you can either get St. James Extra Old or Ordage which usually stuff like VSOP and Ordage is reserved for brandy, so I'm tickled that it's reserved for rum. Use one of those and one dark Jamaican rum, which usually my dark Jamaican rum is Myers. However, this is the one he specifies on his website, Appleton, 12-year-old uh, Appleton Extra, and it's my birthday, so I'm figuring go big or go home. It wants fresh lime juice. Now usually if I've got a bunch of limes or something like that to make, someone did a taste test and they found that you didn't have to be absolutely fresh and the limes benefited a little bit from sitting. They also found that if you used a squeezer like this, it tastes a little bit better because you've got some juice in with the lime, or the zest and the peel has an aroma. If you've ever had really good lemonade, I bet it had lemon peel in it because that's the trick to making really good lemonade. So there's the fresh lime juice. And let's see what we got. It says one ounce of fresh lime juice. Some used to say the juice of half a lime and the juice of one lime. So that seems like a lot of lime juice. Most of them are like half an ounce, three quarters of an ounce. of dark Jamaican rum. So this is actually a fairly, well, it's got the carousel on it. There's your dark Jamaican rum. And then an ounce of amber martinique rum. Yeah, I've never had Appleton Extra. Appleton VX Gold is okay. And then it gets into the, let's see, orange curacao. Half an ounce of that. Slightly more exotic, half or no, quarter ounce of Orja syrup. Orja is this almond syrup that's sort of a mixture of plain syrup and almond milk. 
So a quarter ounce of that. Then a quarter ounce of 1-1 one, one simple syrup. Then it says shake with plenty of crushed ice. I hope this ice is crushed enough. I usually I don't have an ice crusher. I use the leavings at the bottom of a big bag of ice cubes. That better be plenty of crushed ice. Shake well and pour unstrained the icing over the room. Maybe not crushed enough. The consistency I've seen looks more like a snow cone. Sink a spent lime shell into it. Garnish with a sprig of mint. And there you go. Mai Tai. And this is my Mai Tai. <laughs>